Not long ago, electric cars were exotic novelties, but now they're taking over the streets. One of the first to go into mass production was the Nissan Leaf. It was introduced in Japan and the US in December 2010, and soon after in many European countries. Now it's coming to Germany too. The company's plant in Zunderlin, England, is already producing batteries and series production is scheduled to begin there early next year. The expansion of series production is the culmination of years of development, especially in the batteries. Nissan's Florian Wunsch explains that the company takes an integrated approach to electromobility. They've spent 20 years developing and refining e-car battery technology. That battery was the foundation for the Nissan LEAF. The company also puts a premium on making electromobility work. Their partnership with German utility RWE shows Nissan's commitment to extending the charging infrastructure and achieving the goal of zero emission mobility in Germany and worldwide. The interior also benefits from Nissan's attention to detail. It has a clean, modern feel. The digital dashboard is high-tech, but easy to operate. And the shift lever also has a futuristic look. A colorful dash display includes all the information the driver needs about power use. A touch display can show the car's range on a map for added convenience. The car's 48 lithium-ion modules, each comprised of four battery cells, are mounted under the floor, a space-saving solution. That means the LEAF has a decent amount of legroom, more even than some of its conventional competitors. The trunk is roomy, too. The designers didn't need to compromise on cargo space. On the contrary, there's even extra storage in the compartments underneath. That adds up to a capacity of 680 liters all told. More than enough for day-to-day -day needs. The LEAF starts with a press of a button. There are two driving modes, standard for a more spirited drive and an eco mode for longer range. With a snappy 280 newton meters of torque, the car's brisk acceleration adds to the fun. The 80 kilowatt electric engine lets the Leaf sprint to 100 in a hair under 12 seconds. Maximum speed is 145 kilometers an hour, and the maximum range clocks in at about 175 kilometers. Florian says the LEAF is essentially the same as an ordinary car. In an ordinary car, though, you make a quick stop at the gas station, and that's it. In an electric vehicle, the energy the car needs is instead delivered to your home. That's where the infrastructure is. And charging the battery takes a lot longer. But again, you can do it at home. It's a minor change, but an adjustment nonetheless. Charging the battery is a cinch, but the charging network in Germany is still in its infancy. Energy provider RWE has just over a thousand charging stations set up nationwide. In 18 months, they're planning to have around 4,000. The quick charge stations are especially useful when you're on the road. They just take 30 minutes to bring the battery to 80% of capacity. The charger recognizes the car and its owner automatically as soon as the cable is connected. Another bonus, the public RWE charging stations use only green electricity. Florian says there are three main charging modes. The one used most often is the charging device at the driver's home. Then there's also the quick charge station, which is much like a gas pump. That gives 50 kilowatts of power output, so a charge takes just 30 minutes. The third option is the emergency charging device, which you can use at any good power outlet in a pinch. But Florian says the best option is still the home charging device, because it's both convenient and secure. 
Soon the LEAF will be joined by the NV200 van, which Nissan plans to also offer in an electric version.